Hello there and welcome to another one of these Lexical Lab one minute English videos. If you like this video make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website www.lexicallab.com. The other day I was chatting to a Russian friend of mine. Um, this is someone who fled the country um, almost at the outset of the war back in February and uh, is now living abroad. And we were talking about the ongoing situation. And one of the things he said was that part of the problem was the fact that Russia, Russians, have never really had a proper reckoning with their own past. If you have a reckoning with something or with somebody, you face it and you're forced to confront what they've done and you force them or it to confront what's been done in the past. So if you have a reckoning with your own past, you basically look in a very honest, very open way at all of the problems of the past. You look at your imperial history. You look at genocides that your country's been involved in before. You look at colonial projects that your country's been involved in before. And you try to find patterns, um, ideally, in order to prevent these patterns from recurring. In the same way, um, you can also maybe talk about needing to have a reckoning with people who've betrayed the country. Um, here in the UK, I'd like to see us have a reckoning with people like Nigel Farage, who have basically taken foreign money uh, in order to promote things like Brexit, which have caused the country sort of immeasurable harm. Sometimes they use it in sports as well. So if a team has lost to a local rival, the next time they play each other, they'll be out for revenge. And you might hear in the media that there'll be a real reckoning. This is also sometimes called a day of reckoning which is a time when you're forced to deal with the results of your actions. I guess if you're religious, uh, you, you might imagine that what happens to you after you die is you have your day of reckoning or you face your day of reckoning. Another example that I saw in the news this week was talking about oil producing nations that have basically been raking in billions of pounds over the last few years, but that are now facing a real reckoning. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. Please share it with your friends, your students, your colleagues, and in the comment section below, We'd love to see examples of how you're going to use a day of reckoning or have a reckoning or face a reckoning.